Wella raga, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. I thought, you know, it's such a nice day today. Why not go outside and tape a video out here? Nice different location, you know, change it up a bit. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about how you say that you like something in Italian. Basically, we say mi piace. You say mi piace when you're talking about I like something, but only one thing such as mi piace il video mi piace il video that means i like the video if i want to say that i like many videos i have to say mi piacciono mi piacciono because in italian it is the way that they um, work saying that you like something is that these items are pleasing to me so if you guys haven't seen my Learn Italian Reflexive Verbs video, I'm going to put a link for that down below. It may help you out to kind of understand this sort of backwards way of thinking for us native English speakers. So basically, when I'm saying mi piace il video, I'm actually saying the video is pleasing to me. That's how these kind of things work. So if I want to say I like the videos, it has to be the videos, they're plural items, are pleasing to me. So we say mi piacciono i video. Now in Italian they don't make the word video plural by putting an I at the end instead of an O. I don't know the real reason behind that, maybe because video is a Latin word, but look, you know what, I'm not that 100% sure on it. Just know that whenever you're saying video in Italian, whether it's one video or many videos, it's always video. You just change the definite article. So mi piacciono i video, I like the videos. Now, how do we say, like, do you like something? All you do is you say, ti piace. You could say, ti piace. It's like saying, do you like it? And ti piace means, it is pleasing to you. So now let's try to change it, okay? Because we're always using this verb, piacere. Piacere, I explained in my Learn Italian uh, Common Expressions video where I said, like, mi ha fatto piacere vederti, which means, it was... It means it pleased me to see you, but it also means it was nice to see you. So, piacere is used in way, in way, in means of saying you like something and that something is pleasing to you. I guess you could kind of say they're synonyms of each other. So if you want to say, do you like something, you say ti piace. If you want to ask, do they like multiple items, like cookies, you could say ti piacciono i biscotti, which means do you like the cookies, ti piacciono i biscotti. And then to answer, you can say, si, mi piacciono. It's like, yes, I like them. Because we take the verb piacere and we conjugate it. It's an erre verb. You conjugate it as, io piaccio, tu piaci, lui, lei piace, noi piacciamo, voi piacete, and loro piacciono. And then when you want to say every person likes something, you say, mi piace, I like, ti piace, you like, he or she likes is gli o le piace, then we like is ci piace, you guys or you all like is vi piace, and then they like, they say a loro piace, a loro piace. Now if we're talking about multiple items that any one of these subjects likes, you just change piaccio, a piace to piacciono, so it's mi piacciono, I like multiple things, ti piacciono, you like multiple things, and etc. So, if I now want to say something like, I like you guys, I have to say, you guys are pleasing to me. So I take the voi conjugated form of piacere, which is piacete, and then I have to put me in front of it because it is to me. Anytime we use these uh, different kind of pronouns like me, ci, um, mi, ti, gli, le, ci, vi, and then a loro, this is when we're saying that something is to the person that's talking. So it is, you guys are pleasing to me, mi piacete, mi piacete. You guys are pleasing to me is just a way of saying, I like you guys. That's how it works, mi piacete. So let's say you want to say, do they like me? To say, do they like me, you say, a loro piaccio, a loro piaccio, because it is, to them, am I pleasing? I know this may sound a little weird, but it's actually starting to make more sense to me, and I find difficulty with this because it's, it's kind of a backwards way of thinking. But actually, as I'm doing the practice right now with it, I'm finding that it's not that bad. So maybe this will, hopefully I'm able to transmit this uh, for you guys. And then if you want to see that you don't like something in Italian, you just say, non mi piace. You just put non in front of whatever you're saying. So you can say, non mi piace. I don't like it. 
non ti piace, you don't like it, and then etc. And then if you want to say that you would like something, you can say mi piacerebbe, mi piacerebbe, because now we're talking about the conditional tense. We're talking about something that you would like. So for one thing, you say mi piacerebbe. For multiple things, you say mi piacerebbero. Mi piacerebbero. If you need help with the conditional tense, I'll put a link down below for Learn Italian Grammar Basics 6, because that's where I explain this in more depth. So if I wanted to say that they would like, or no, let's say he or she would like some cookies, okay? You would say gli for he or le for she. Gli, le, piacerebbero i biscotti. They would like the cookies. I'm sorry, he or she would like the cookies. Gli o le piacerebbero i biscotti. He or she would like the cookies. And then if you want to say that you would not like something, you say non mi piacerebbe. Just like that, always with non in the beginning. Non mi piacerebbe vedere quel video. I would not like to watch the video. Let's say you wanted to say that. However, in Italian, they also say the conditional for form of the verb volere, volere, which means to want, to also say that you would like something. So I can say vorrei un bicchiere d'acqua, vorrei un bicchiere d'acqua, which means I would like a glass of water. Even though literally it means I would want a glass of water, in Italian they use the conditional form of volere to to also say that you would like something. So it's either you could say mi piacerebbe or vorrei, you can choose. And then naturally, if you just want to say that you want something, you say voglio, because the conjugation of volere is an irregular verb. It is io voglio, io voglio. Tu vuoi, tu vuoi. Lui lei vuole, lui lei vuole. Noi vogliamo, noi vogliamo. Voi volete, voi volete, and then finally, loro vogliono, and that means they want, loro vogliono. So I can say, I like, mi piace, I want, io voglio, I would like, you could either say, mi piacerebbe, or vorrei. Vorrei. And when you're talking about that you want plural things like I want the cookies, I would like the cookies, with uh, volere, you're just saying vorrei i biscotti, vorrei i biscotti, I would like the cookies. You don't have to worry about changing it um, for whether it's a plural or singular thing when you're using volere in the conditional. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to get all of my updates. Be sure to also check out those videos that I mentioned before, Grammar Basics 6 and the Reflexive Verbs video. You'll find the links for those down below. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I'll catch you next time. And always remember to spread the love. Ciao.